What's up, Watch World? It's uh, Bearded Watchman here. Hey, so I want to talk about this uh, Bostock or Vostok today. This is the Amphibia. And um, there's a couple little quirky things about it that I'll show you. There's some, there's some positives and some negatives about it. But overall, as far as what you're paying for this watch, um, it's kind of a no-brainer watch to you know if, if you especially if you want a watch that you can um, mod so uh, let's get started so what what this one is is this is kind of a uh, this is kind of an Amazon special that I got it came with this orange strap um, I think it was like 92 93 dollars on Amazon um, it's got this kind of this teal blue I don't know how much of that teal blue you can pick up on the camera there, but it is very, uh, very pretty blue. I'll, I'll shoot a couple of close-ups of it kind of at the end so you can see it. Um, but, you know, and this strap is kind of a cheap NATO, but it's not too bad. It's it's fairly, fairly comfortable. It's It's not scratchy or anything. It is a little more firm, but it's super thin. Um, and I really do like the way it looks on this watch. It does have a little red second hand. And as you can see on the second hand here, see if I can get this thing to zoom in a little bit. You can see on this red second hand, it doesn't go all the way to the end. That's definitely a negative for me. I, I, I really like the way a watch looks when that second hand goes all the way out to the little pips there. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. You can change the hands fairly cheap. You can go to a website, and I think it's called, uh, I think it's called Miramum. It's M-E-R-A-N-O-M dot com. And what they do is they do everything Vostok. So you can buy all different kinds. You can buy different, uh, this watch with different bezels. You can buy different dials. You can buy um, obviously all of Vostok cases and all that which is neat so if you're gonna mod one I'd strongly recommend to go to that website um, okay so let, let's go back to another negative on this watch is the bezel now the bezel looks pretty good as far as what you're getting with this watch um, I do like the stainless bezel um, and it really looks good. It's got a really good side profile. I'm going to take this strap off so we can just look at the watch. But it's got a good side profile. And another thing I, I want you to take note of, um, you can tell that this is brushed. So uh, you can order these on Miramum. You can order them brushed as well or polished so but most if you buy this from Amazon every, every pretty much all of their watches are going to be just fully polished all the way around now I took the liberty of brushing this myself um, I just got some uh, one of the little foam cleaning pads that are green on one side and yellow on the other I took the green side I, I took the bezel off and I polished everything down and it it really um, it really did pretty pretty good I can see I missed one spot you can see right behind the crown you can see that little that little shiny spot that's kind of the the color of I mean that's the texture of the watch is before I I did that and then I brushed which this watch looks better brushed you know to me um, so back to this dial or back to this um, this bezel this this bezel here it, it goes both ways there's no click and it's very very loose I mean I I just don't like that because I look down and, I'll, and it's over here and I'm, I'm very precise with it wanting my watches all to be just perfectly center like this that's why a lot of the Seiko's really um, just driving me nuts but it is what it is so um, as far as size on this guy you've got a 44 so you've got a 44 lug to lug on this guy so lug to lug let's see actual lug to lug is going to be 44 the case right on the outside that lug to lug 
is just 45. So it's just one more the difference between true lug to lug and then the difference on that little lip right there. So you're 45 on that lip, you're 44 there. So it wears, it wears excellent. So there you see um, the whole entire case there is, is, is right underneath 45. So, and then we've got a 42 there. We do have just a 22 millimeter lug there, lug opening. We've got a 12, 12 millimeter crown. This this uh, dial itself is 40, maybe maybe 30. Yeah, yeah, I'll call it 40, 40. And then thickness is going to be 15. Now, 15 sounds super thick. This watch doesn't wear as thick as as that. I mean, it's a uh, 12 without this this um, here so it, wear, it does wear more like a 12 but you can see that glass is is very pronounced on there and it and it doesn't you can see it it doesn't wear like a 15 like a 15 millimeter thick watch and I think it's probably more like 14 and a half or just a hair just a hair under 15 so that's kind of the size. Of it. I've got a SKX here that um, you can see that they're very, very close in size. This guy might be just a hair shorter, um, but size-wise, if you can wear this, this is going to be perfect. Um, you can tell this one does wear a little smaller um, because of the face, because of this particular bezel that's around here. Um, you can get bezels um, for this guy and you can swap them out which I do really like this watch with a Seiko SKX bezel so now you can order all the different bezels on Merriman don't don't just order a Seiko SKX bezel and expect it to snap on it won't do it you have to order the stuff from there um, but this comes off fairly easy just stick a knife in there pop it off be done but there is a Spring in there. There's a keeper, and it's a it's a big C keeper. Whenever you and it's got a couple little bends in there. I'll try to see if I can get a picture for you up here in the corner of of what I'm talking about. But they've got little tiny bends in there. Whenever if you order a new bezel, order a couple of more of those because what's going to happen is you're going to ultimately bend it and it's going to get real loose like this. It's going to drop you nuts and then you've got spares. So make sure that you do that if you're thinking about replacing this bezel. Um, now, one of the neatest things about the Amphibia or the, the uh, Vostok watches in general is the way that the case back is. This case back here is actually two piece. So you see this piece here just sits on and it's got a washer. It's got a washer on it. And this little outside ring actually comes off. So this just sits down and this is the keeper. So whenever this watch dives, it actually will press the, the, the pressure of the water will press the back of the case and actually press this, um, I want to say crystal, but it's, it's actually not a crystal. Um, it's plexiglass. So this is actually a plexiglass deal, which can be buffed, buffed out fairly easy. So if you get little nicks and stuff, you can. But like I said, if you're going to mod these watches, pick up another, an extra plexiglass um, crystal here um, or plexiglass um, cover make sure you pick one up because if you do nick it scratch it they're very easy to replace but back to diving on this watch it's a 200 uh, millimeter a 200 meter watch um, and what happens the way that they accomplish that is this back this case back and this plexiglass 
So whenever it dives, the water pressure actually pushes in on this and pushes in on this. The deeper it goes, the more sealed this watch is. So it's pretty amazing. It's, it's, it's fairly simple, but it's pretty amazing the way that they uh, design this as a watch. And it is um, some, some heritage there in the watch world that is really, really neat from this watch. So it's neat to have this watch just for that, that reason, the design and everything of it. The movement is in-house. It's a, it's a Russian um, movement that's equivalent to it doesn't have hacking. It does have hand winding. So um, there you go. Now, one thing about winding on this watch, and I'll jump right into that. I'm kind of all over the place, but um, this is another, a lot of people call this a negative. This is actually a design feature of this watch. Okay, so when you, it does have a screw down crown. If you unscrew this crown, if you can hear that, let's see. Okay, that's going backwards. I'm screwed down. It doesn't really pop out, and you can see that it's all wobbly. I mean, it looks like it's going to fall off. That's by design on this watch. So when you get one and you, and you see that and it's all wobbly, you're like, oh man, I'm returning it. This is crap. It's not. This is by design. There's some way that it seats. There's a washer in there, and there's some way that it seats whenever you screw that back in. That's very easy to screw in, very easy to unscrew. Now, when you wind it, if you just start trying to wind it like this, it, it catches and it's not, it, it, it's not, it feels weird. So what you have to do is you have to put a finger and a finger here, and when you grab it, you have to put, you have to kind of pull out and turn at the same time. And you'll know what I'm talking about once you feel one. It's, it's, um, it's fairly easy to do. It's not a big deal. You just kind of, when you, when you grab this, you kind of pull out and turn to, to wind it. Now it doesn't have, obviously it doesn't have a second, um, you know, you've got one, one click out. So there's no second to adjust the date. So to adjust the date on this watch, and you can see how wobbly this is. It's 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 cra it's it's crazy funny comical wobbly actually. But so whenever you do this to set the watch, you have to turn you have to turn this guy all the way to 12 You see it click. So it's going to click right about when it when the minute hand passes at 55 it clicks right over but to go to 6 you have to go all the way around okay that's 12 noon all the way around come on keep on coming keep on coming okay now watch it it's gonna click very quick oh you see the click okay so it is a royal pain to try to set the watch. Now, there is a hack on this watch that uh, I guess the watch world pretty much knows about. If you've seen any videos before, you're going to see it, but I'm going to show you up close what I'm talking about. So after it clicks over at 12 midnight, okay, what you want to do is you want to take the min minute just past five. So you just want to go to about five, five after, just a little a little more past five after and then you want to go in reverse and you want to take the hour the hour hand past nine now when it goes past nine I want you to watch watch the date okay now the date starts to go in reverse you see that and it's gonna click itself back when it gets to about eight o'clock Oh, there, right before. Do you see it click back to 6? Now, it didn't go backwards. It stayed at 6. But you want to go to 8. And then you want to go back. Back to 12. Same thing. Click. It goes up. So, instead of going all the way around that watch, you can go back. 
back to eight, and then back, back to 12. Back to eight, back to 12. Watch the, the eight over there, the date. Once you get to the 55, boom. So that, that is, that is the hack, which I'm glad it's like that too, because uh, ten, and then let's go ahead and set it for the day here. It's about nine thirty, nine thirty-two. So we'll go to nine. Nine thirty-two. There you go. So, and you can fill when you screw this down. You can fill the the washer. So, I mean, you like right there. You can fill the washer, and you can still kind of turn it and push that washer in. So you can tell there's a good washer seat there. And when you do the the, the back of the watch, you can really tell there's a good seat on that as well. So, but um, so the dial here, you can see the indices. See if I can get. Um, see if I can get some little more light, maybe. Let me get a light that. Let's see here. So there you go. So you can see, you can see that blue dial. You can see my fingerprints there too. Sorry about that. But um, you can see that teal blue. It's not a. It's kind of a very subtle teal kind of a blue green the brighter the light the more blue it is the duller the light the more the more dark blue well i guess so the darker it is the darker it is the lighter it is the lighter it is <laughs> you know what i mean but you can see the indices there are raised you do have um you do have loom um the little pips at the end and on the hands and the loom on this watch let's see let me let's see if I can charge a little bit the loom on this watch is pretty good um, you know for for what you're getting hey I, it's good it lasts a little bit it's not Seiko by no means but hey it, it's it'll work I do like the little loom pip little lollipop pip on that um, on the second hand but I just wish that second hand just went all the way to the edge um, and you can see around the date, it does have a little outline around that date that's that's raised as well. Um, but you know, so this is uh, that is the Vostok Amphibia, uh, and it's the the model on this particular one is the um, Seven Eleven. So if, if you notice, the Amphibia has got a, a, a bunch of different model numbers. This is the 711. And um, I guess if you're going to buy one, I would almost buy the 711 um, SE from Miriam. It's going to have a better bezel. It's going to have a, 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 a bezel that's more like this. And I think that you'll, I think it finished this watch out a little better. Um, now you don't have to have blue and red, but you know what I mean. So um, I've got this. I want to show you on a couple different bands. I've got this band from uh, Blue Shark. That's this little uh, kind of a stretchy nylon that really looks good. It, it really has a um, military vibe to it. This blue looks really good with this tan and that white line because uh, I don't know. It, it looks pretty sharp. It's really comfortable to wear on a NATO. It, um, um, this watch does wear on a NATO very well. Now, if you, you can kind of dress it up too. I'm gonna pull these guys out. I've got another leather, I've got a leather strap here from, um, I believe this is a Barton, Barton quick release leather strap um, this watch looks good on leather too so it um, 
let's click there you go so you can see it looks it looks really sharp on leather so you know guys i uh i enjoy this watch um it's it's something that you can get one or get a couple and mod them how you want to if you bang it up on something you're not going to just be completely just just all bent out of shape because uh you scratched it or whatever but uh, it's very easy to work on d d if you if you're going to start somewhere you you probably need to start with uh, Bostock. so and you know back to you know when you're receiving it you get it in this little cheap plastic case it's um almost almost cheesy x timex you know 80s plastic case but you know it is it is what it is the, the watch is worth it i think they put the money in the watch um, they don't put the money in the straps by no means so if you get it get one with a nato or get one with a you know rubber strap or something don't get one with a metal band because the the, the they're not good um, the, the metal bands are not good you're not going to like it you know don't pay the extra to get one with a metal band on it or a metal bracelet on it so um guys thanks for this and uh click subscribe if you like the video and um again it's uh bearded watchman thanks guys appreciate it